What's up, everybody? It's Bam Erickson for AfterBuzz TV for Power, Season 6, Episode 10, the midseason finale. No one can stop me. Corny Kip is in the building! Woo! Let's go. I'm Maria Menunos, and you're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. No emotions? Mm -hmm. Yes. A ton of emotions? Plenty of emotions. Right. I gotta make it. This is where it goes down. Whoa, whoa, yeah. Uh -huh. I just have to <laughs> come up. Yes. No trace. Okay. But, you know. yeah, yeah. Right, right, okay, right. so I'm Bam Erickson. I would like to introduce the panel. Jill Monroe. What's up, everybody? I'm Robin Ayers. Hey, it's your man, Jimmy V. Courtney Kemp. In the show building. creator, what the writer, say? executive producer, the showrunner. She is Queen Courtney. She is in the building. Welcome, Courtney Kim! <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow, Courtney, you have been a, a friend and family member now to After Buzz TV. You've been with us, I think, since season two. You've come back on and supported us so much. And I have to start by saying, um, since I've known you, you're actually extremely intelligent, and I've gathered so much from you, whether you know it or not. Um, you've shown myself and so many other people what it's like to be a boss lady. And, uh, and I, I just love the way that you are. And most importantly, let me just say this. The way you give opportunities to other women and other people is, I, I literally, I can kiss your forehead. You remind <laughs> me to do that at the end of the show. Um, so I just want to say thank you for doing that and just being an incredible example. I mean, <laughs> off bat, I find out you're from Connecticut. I'm from Boston myself, right? Mm -hmm. So to learn somebody from the New England space mm -hmm. has came to the West Coast oh, yeah. and held it down. As fast as I could. And, <laughs> and continue to hold, hold it down is just, uh, you're just setting a phenomenal example. So thank you. Well, thank you guys very much. Uh, it is super important to me to continue to create opportunities for women, people of color, LGBT community, because when I got out here, so often I was the only mm -hmm. black person or the only woman. Um, and or sometimes I was two for, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, I found that a lot of writing spaces were, you know, homophobic or were racist or people didn't think they were being racist. They would say things in front of me and they'd be like, why are you mad? And I'd be like, are, are you kidding? Did you yeah. hear what you just said? Um, so it's super important. And I mean, I guess I was raised by a very, you know, a certain kind of black parent. So it's each one teach one, to whom much is given, you know, all those things, mm -hmm. like the responsibility for the community, mm -hmm. uh, lift every voice and sing kind of situation. Two so I. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm the only one? Okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's, okay. it's okay. So for me personally, I, you are a mentor to me in my head. Oh, I watch awesome. all your interviews. I study your technique. And I am just thankful that I can learn from someone like you who's also a Taurus. So Absolutely. <laughs> we are so much better than everyone else. Why don't people oh, recognize no, this? Oh, no, 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 we did because it's just the truth. Yeah, it so just is. So I see you, Leo's Joe, I see stand you. up. The, okay. Yeah. Leos are always standing up. You never sit down. <laughs> 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 okay, Taurus, okay. And for me, Courtney, um, I would just like to say on behalf of uh, myself and every other person that has been on the panel who's had the opportunity uh, uh, to meet and chat with you, we thank you so much for coming on to the show. Uh, we're so proud of everything that you have been able to accomplish uh, with the show and your story of how um, of how being fired uh, uh, with the Bernie Mac situation and how it gave you the opportunity to to do what you're doing, we're so proud of you and we just wanted to acknowledge and we wanted to say thank you to you now uh, because this has been a great um, this has been a great journey for us so we can only imagine how you feel and mm -hmm. so we wanted to present you with something. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Oh yeah! What are you oh, giving yeah. me? Flowers. 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 We got Whee! gifts. Oh my goodness, I love we, flowers. We, we come gifts. with gifts. Because we oh, wanted wow. to give you flowers while you can smell them. Right. right. And, so, oh and my that's God. a word. Uh, <laughs> I love this. Is this going to attract bzz, bees? I love it. You know, it's funny. These are like the Omega Sci-Fi colors, aren't they? Uh, yeah. Oh, gold yeah. and purple. Yeah. My dad was a Q. So oh. that just reminds me of my dad. That's really cool. Thank oh, you wow. guys so much. Wow. Full circle yeah. connection. Yeah, exactly. All right, I'm going to move these away from the mic. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Okay. <laughs> so... 
Let's do it. Let's do it. So the first question, Courtney, so let me just give you the, the breakdown of the show. So what we're going to do is we're going to break down the show based off uh, the suspect. So we'll talk a little bit about go seeing dead people. We'll talk about <laughs> mm -hmm. him with his uncle, um, and we'll get that backstory. And then we'll go to all of the different suspects. But before we go into that, so if, obviously you watch the episode, Ghost is Shot. It said the hashtag is who shot ghosts, not who killed ghosts. Mm -hmm. So, Courtney, you know I have to ask this question. Is ghost dead? Yo, seriously. Did you guys not ask me if Angela was dead, too? Like, what happens? And I asked me if Angela was dead, too. Yeah. But, so, you know, I would get dragged if I didn't ask. So, I just have to ask. And then you just, you know, give me give me one. Why would I answer that is the question. <laughs> yeah. There you have it. But, uh, but what I would say is ghost got shot. Mm -hmm. You didn't see anything. Did you see him die? No. So, there we go. We okay, well, mm -hmm. so There's, and that's that on that. Yeah, right. so uh, let's go into Ghost and his uncle, um, um, not Dennis, Gabe. Gabe, it's um, uncle, wait, wait, one thing. Did you guys notice that he got shot in the exact same place that Angela, Angela got shot? shot, shot, shot in the heart. All right, yeah. okay. Anyway, yeah, guys, go ahead. Glenn Turman in the house, y'all. Yes. Glenn Turman yes. in the house, yes. yes. He was Preach so amazing. So iconic. Yes. Yeah, it was great. So it's revealed, so that, that that's his uncle, and it was revealed a little bit in regards to his dad dying. Mm -hmm. So I remember some years ago, I wrote you this long, drawn-out email about my theory of, <laughs> <laughs> of, of goats dying and that Tommy's mom had got with him while she was maybe like a stripper or something in the club and that possibly so anyway I was wrong but <laughs> I told you that at the time too yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like yeah, yeah it's cool yeah, bam no yeah. and he's stuck with that <laughs> he's written that but, <laughs> but can you can, I did not know that yeah, yeah. so wow. can you just explain exactly what happened because it's it's, it's revealed that after <laughs> Ghost's um, dad dies he then goes and stays with uh, uh, Mrs. Egan Mrs. E Egan said earlier on that you know she basically raised a black son so can you just give a little what's Okay, Ghost yeah. backstory, yeah. totally. Mm -hmm. So um, Ghost had uh, a mom and a dad who, uh, she was a nurse and his father ran a jazz club, which is the club that you walk into mm -hmm. and he ran it with Uncle Gabe. Uncle Gabe is not an actual blood uncle. It's, you know, we all yeah, have yeah, those. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So, um, and then the mom, the dad starts drinking, which is where Ghost gets that, the alcoholism. Drinking problem. Mm -hmm. And mom left. And so he was being raised by his dad alone at that time. So then we've got, uh, as Ghost started to kind of hang out with the drug folk, mm -hmm. and what we couldn't push was that Uncle G Gabe knew the name Kanan, because I think that would have been pushing it too okay. far. Mm -hmm. But like the older boy who was recruiting he and Tommy into the drug game, you guys know who that was. That was Kanan, right? right? Yeah, yeah. So there's a little bit intimated there that whoever Kanan was running with didn't want Ghost's actual dad pulling him back out of the life. Mm -hmm. And so when the actual, when Ghost's father was, whose name is Curtis, I don't know if you guys noticed that, but his name is Curtis, mm -hmm. Ghost's yeah. father. Yeah. So <laughs> Curtis uh, called the cops on these drug kids mm -hmm. one too many times and they killed him. They killed him. And once he was dead, Ghost went to live with Tommy and his mom, uh, who is Ms. Egan, Ms. not Ms. Mrs. Egan, yeah, yes. because mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I don't know. Sorry. She wasn't anybody's uh, wife. Yeah. Sorry about it, mm -hmm. Kate. That's yeah. not how it worked out. <laughs> okay. In a way, I thought that Uncle Gabe was like making it as if he was a snitch in some sort of way, or that's how I had read it. Well, Ghost father Ghost neighborhood. Dad, he yeah. wasn't a well. Is it a snitch if you if you if it's your neighborhood, and there are kids on the corner by your your club, you know, selling drugs, they're pulling your mm -hmm. kid. Are you being a snitch, or are you just calling the cops and saying get rid of these, mm -hmm. you know, youth? Right. As it right. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Okay. Uh, so now, uh, before we go to suspects, the suspects. So we see uh, ghosts having conversations with uh, dead people. So the first one was Angela. What you guys think about that? Well, you know, that's not the first time we've seen him, mm -hmm. you know, have these conversations. I mean, I think really what all of that is is just, I mean, we, we know that that's his, sub his, su his yeah. subconscious, uh -huh. like, t talking to himself, you mm -hmm. know, and, and what that person would have said. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I think it, it fits. You know, I mean, I like it. Mm. It's done. I was there for Raina and Kanan reading Ghost. He deserved it. We needed to hear some okay. things about okay. himself. <laughs> what I would, can I just say, the way it's intended is that yeah, so they're okay. not right. actually saying what they would have said. They're mm. saying what Ghost, Ghost 
is kind of throwing his voice through them. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah it's, it's really him. So that's why He's Angela says all the things he would want her to say. Yeah. Right. And Raina says kind of the things he would imagine she would. So she kind of almost lets him off the hook and then doesn't. Yeah. yeah. And then Kanan, who is like the darkest angel of all, really comes <laughs> in and reads him and goes, stands up to him. And he says, I'm not even packing right now. Like, mm-hmm. I'm that person's totally gone. Yeah. I mean, you know, and I think Ghost was always kind of protecting James St. Patrick. But once he really let go of Ghost, there was no one there to protect him. Hmm. Levels. We have a lot of people in the chat room, uh, so we want to make sure that you guys like this video with our special guest, Courtney Kemp, okay? So any other uh, questions regarding any of the uh, uh, Raina, Kane, or anything now? If I could step back, with the whole idea of having them reemerge as a subconscious um, come from... Well, you know, the show has always been based on various different kinds of Shakespeare, you know, but it's uh, this season was a lot of Richard III, which mm-hmm. is, you know, if you guys have read Richard III, Richard III murders a lot of people mm-hmm. to become king. Like, he is just killing straight everybody for a while. And then when uh, he has a kind of a moment of reflection, they come back as ghosts. And uh, there's a particularly poignant one where the two young kids come and they say like why did you kill us you know mm-hmm. we're innocent and i just love that story because i love the idea that you can go through life kind of like pillaging and doing whatever you want to do but there's some part of you that knows it's wrong yeah right, right. and um i liked the idea of ghost going through an episode and saying everything he wanted to say to everyone because he's so close to getting everything that he mm-hmm. wants yes. mm-hmm. and then to have that kind of be balanced by an internal dialogue that Hmm. isn't totally about that. Because even Angela is saying, lie. Lie to Ramona. Don't tell her who you really are. You know what I mean? So it's not, she's not reading him. Mm -hmm. It comes across in this beautiful romantic way, but she's kind of saying like, you got to step away from who you were, mm-hmm. you know? And mm-hmm. so he does, but it's it's to his detriment. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so uh, suspect number one, Tommy. So um, Tommy and Ghost meets uh, on this this rooftop, and there's this conversation that happens before the shootout. So uh, the probably the most um, memorable thing about that scene is when Ghost uh, talks about how, you know, you need me. Um, you need me even when I'm gone. You know, you still, like, you need me. What did you guys think about that? Ghost was very confident this episode. I mean, he was feeling <laughs> you know, He told everybody, yeah. you can't yeah. stop me. Yeah. And, and th- that was yeah. the tone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And not only did he say, you can't stop me, but You're he stepped to me. everybody and was like... Let me tell you what's wrong with you. It, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. and this is the first time that I've seen Ghost be... Um, uh, it's beyond... I don't know if the word it, is... He had too much dip on his chip. Not some like people, some funny. people thought of it as it was uncharacteristic of him because he never shows his cards. Mm-hmm. But when you are at the end where you just don't give a f anymore, you're just gonna. He's like an old person. Like when old, when a person gets old, they just say whatever's on their mind, <laughs> and they're just gonna let you know how they feel because he, he obviously has been like bottled up inside. Can yeah. I ask a question yeah. though about yeah. that? Do you mind me jumping in? Yes. No, uh, I was gonna say. Ghost is always reading people. It's just not all at once. So those people who are saying this is uncharacteristic <coughs> of him, remember he was on the phone with Tommy in episode, I think it was the end of episode three, and he said, you know, I don't want to be a drug dealer, but I've always been better than you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Like, yeah. that's yeah. a read straight yeah. up to his face. Like, yeah. how many different ways has he told people they weren't good enough or they couldn't do something? Or I mean, he's actually really kind of always in everybody's mm-hmm. face. Yeah, I, yeah. I like it was a return to his sort of you know, swagger, just confidence, just in your face from the earlier episodes were sort of, I guess he's moving away from the tragedies, maybe, or he Mm -hmm. thinks. Well, the problem that I had with it (laughs) was just the fact that, um, like, let's take uh, Ghost and and Tate, for instance. You know, when Tate was just about to, like, Mm -hmm. give him some information, it was like he turned all the way up. We're going to go to him in just a second, but let's let's, let's just finish with Tommy. So did you guys... Well, let me me just... I'm I'm stating the point that... Okay, got it, sorry. But that's what I'm saying. Like, overall, like, that's the type of example that I'm saying. Like, he... That was... Yeah, I, I completely agree. It was very, uh, it was very James St. Patrick, mm-hmm. you know, because we we've differentiated, you know, Ghost and and who James is and Jamie mm-hmm. and all of that. It was very him, but I'm saying that that was the issue that I had. It was almost like no, like don't don't go too far, yeah. you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. and different things like that. Okay, but yeah, Tommy. I, for me. Um like like uh, like Courtney said, this is not the first time that he says this. Uh, that he said this to Tommy. He's right as rain. 
in my opinion. He's he's totally right. Um, he, he, regards, he called it on every know, situation. He, he called he it did. in the in the way that the, the way that Tommy reacted when he said something like. So you know, he says some. He says something like, "So that's it. I'm alone, or something." That you he, get everything you wanted, and I get nothing. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. that's what he says. He says, "You and I get nothing." Yeah, and 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 in this episode, he really triggered a lot of <laughs> emotions. And when he said that, you know, Tommy, the, you know, Tommy, the way that he reacted was, he almost had to take a back seat and not kill him because it struck a chord. Like, okay. Yes, you're right. Well, let's yeah, not forget too. There also was the shootout, which I've got questions to. Yes, who, I may or may they? not yeah. be answering those who questions. Was that guy so, on the floor. Well, so, yeah, that who, was in Tate's guy. We no. no oh no, okay. not mm -hmm. the dude from the press uh, conference. Tate, no. no. Okay. Tate, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. no. It was not. So okay, you, but but what I liked is that we saw the buildup of yeah, Tommy, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. We saw him go into the. Uh, it wasn't technically the inauguration, was it? It was just the, um, the Announce announcement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So we saw him go there, <laughs> and that was literally him seeing ghosts come into like everything. Like he's got it all. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And he's like, but I don't know if he's clapping out of sarcasm or yeah. he's or it's he's a slow clap. Yeah. It's a slow yeah. clap. Yeah, it's a slow clap. Yeah. So I mean, we we do see that. Yeah. You know, we we get some background too why he feels that way. Yeah. Um, now speaking of the shoot out um my first question is even him going to um going to the shootout we see that there's this black car that is following ghost uh when he's at the his uh before he goes to his um mm -hmm. his uh hotel and on his way to to meet tommy i i know you're gonna not gonna tell us but i'm asked Who's in, who's in the black car? What's watch the last five episodes? Okay, okay so then okay. so then um, c can we ask anything about who was that guy? You can C ask me all sorts of questions. I'm not gonna answer them. I mean, okay. I'm not gonna stop you from asking them. Okay, but so, what so, I will say okay. to the fans mm -hmm. is all the answers are coming. That's okay. the thing. It's like my point in putting episode ten together and not having all the answers there mm -hmm. is that there's five more episodes to right. go. Mm -hmm. We are only two thirds of the way through the entire season. Mm -hmm. I so that. I think it's like people are like, oh, I want to know everything. But yeah. episode 10 is a gateway drug. It's not, like, it's not the end. Mm -hmm. It's the mid season. And so, and even the last five, they give birth to the spinoff. So it's like, there's so much more coming. Mm -hmm. As 50 always says, like power never ends. Mm -hmm. Power is just going to keep going and going. But this chapter is ending. And the thing is, again, it's like I have, all these people who are like, oh man, I'm so mad. How could they shoot Ghost? But it's like, how could Ghost not get checked at some point? point right. yep. At some point, didn't he have to? Like, yes. what? it's not a fantasy show. Right. Do you know what I mean? Right. But at some point, he has to be down. You know, he has to be, something has to happen. He has something to pay for his actions. Yes. Like, like what Raina, what Raina said, you yeah. know, everybody's got to pay for the actions. Mm -hmm. She did, so. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of actions, now let's go to suspect number two, Tasha. So open discussion on um, when they are at the gravesite, and Ghost says that he's done. Uh, you I can, release you. I release you. I you can. That I you release can. you. <laughs> it was. You know what? It was not. <laughs> <laughs> she said it was not. Asked for the divorce. Okay, she, but he can't but, release her. But listen, this is this and, is. And mm -hmm. and look at me. I'm sliding at me. This is a sensitive area. No, I just feel like Ghost, every new level of his life, he changes out a woman to fit whatever is there. And it's fine that you want to move on or you have other aspirations, but stop treating her like she's the trash and you're tossing her to the side. I think that is kind of her point. But, see, and this is where my problem is, and see, I'm ready. Look at my Petty Pablo t-shirt. I'm hey. ready. Oh, okay. So my, my problem, so... My problem for, for, your, for your comment is... The only reason that I feel that Tasha uh, felt that way was because she wasn't able to 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 uh, to give the news to Ghost. So she was a little hurt because he's finally moving on. This is what you want. You've been saying that your name is Tasha Green. You want a divorce. You want to move on. All right. So well, if you want to move on, all right, cool. We gonna we gonna move on. Now you got a problem with it? Give no, me you guys are missing the point yeah. though. It's so <clears> interesting. <throat> but I, this is what I love as an artist because it's like you see how other people like they put their own life through the filter. Mm -hmm. She's selling drugs. From the beginning of this show, what did he say he didn't want to do anymore? Mm -hmm. So, so, so it's like, man. you're right, Jill. He is kind of coming out of pocket being like, and this, and I release you and all this. But the thing is, 
he's going in a different direction. He said that to her from jump. From the beginning. Right, right, she right. didn't yeah. accept it. And like I keep going back to that because it's like she wanted him to stay who he was. Thank you. And so he's not that. And what and he's saying it in the most cruel fashion because mm-hmm. he's arrogant at this mm-hmm. point. Because mm-hmm. the thing that was keeping him from that arrogance was not having the QCP together, not being able to honor Raina. When he goes to that gravesite, he he has it in pocket. He did it. So she's right there at that precise moment. And again, you know, in every scene that I write, both people are right in the scene. Mm. So he turns around and he sees her and he says, what are you doing here? She says, I'm here every week. What are you doing here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I noticed the, the yeah. uh, wilted flowers that were on the graveside. So I was like, somebody's mm-hmm. been there. So when She's she that, there yeah. all the time. She was the one who could mourn. He could never mourn because he couldn't right. face it. Yeah. And now he can face his daughter because he's done it. But it's like it is it's complicated yes ghost is messed up but the other side of that is that he's actually achieving his dream and here she comes scowling like you aren't going to be able to do that mm-hmm. because why didn't they do a background check? You're opening us all up to... She's right, by the way. She says that you're opening us all up to all this scrutiny. Mm-hmm. Well, stop selling drugs. Like, stop being a criminal, bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, like, it's both things. Yeah. I am te- he but just I just killed somebody. He, but he but, killed somebody <laughs> out of necessity, right? right? He killed somebody because that person wouldn't let him free. So let's move forward. So the next conversation that Ghost and Tasha have is when... You can drop a mic right now. I'm just saying, just, I love the fact. I'm sorry. I love... Yeah. I almost don't even want to give commentary mm-hmm. because you are here to set all this stuff straight because mm-hmm. we right. all have questions. Go ahead, yeah. man. So moving forward uh, in the next conversation, that Ghost and Tasha have, uh, they are in the penthouse, which now I have to be petty. Uh, now the penthouse is super cleaned up, and the yeah, shootout sure. was probably what, like two, three days ago? No, no, no. Uh, okay. No, no. Tut, tut. Okay. Each episode is about four days. Okay. okay. And if it was destroyed, but now they noticed we didn't have the move back in. Yeah. Like it's destroyed. He moved out to the, the uh, hotel, and so we haven't been in there. So, okay. you know. Okay. Listen. On our show, people get from Red Hook, Brooklyn to the Bronx in like two scenes. It's not real. Okay, I know. Yeah. I, I'm not yeah, going to yeah. argue with you about construction yeah. time. <laughs> I know, but it's no it, contractor yeah. would yes, show up that fast. That's, yeah, yeah. that's the petty yeah, yeah. side. Yeah, that's, that's, that's petty, 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 petty. Yeah. But, but. In, uh, in the in the penthouse, Tasha uh, falsely accuses him of of uh, of ghosts of poss- uh, potentially. Um, uh, 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 writing Tariq out um, about the murder of, Ray, of Raymond Jones and then Ghost, it triggers in his mind because, you know, Ghost always t- tends to think, you know, ahead he then thinks it's a good idea hit a Jill. What? I agreed with him. Oh. I do think I you think, think here's Yes, the thing. absolutely mm-hmm. I think that, is it hypocritical coming from Ghost? Of course but does Tariq need to <clears throat> own up some responsibility for the things that he's done, every time, I'm not going to do it again. And he keeps getting them deeper and deeper in. So I, I, I agree with him, but I just think wrong messenger. That's all. I, I'm i just, I'm testifying Hallelujah. over here. Hallelujah. In, in addition, in addition to that, in, in addition to that, the reason that that was actually a smart move, because when Ghost becomes a politician, you know he can wipe all their dirt away. Which is kind of what he was saying. Yeah. Which is what he was trying to yeah. say. And he can protect Tasha from, I mean. Which it, is still criminal, yeah. in, in, which is why I don't understand, because you're making deals in the future to still be criminal. But, 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 be, but, but because technically, although, although y'all swear he's so selfish, he always thinks about the family. And so so if he becomes, if he runs for office, and then he's able to, he's able to. But all, thinking about the family in this instance is thinking about himself as a politician too. It's men, gonna look a little crazy. You said that's what yeah, men, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, he was about to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Okay, so. But, but, we'll but yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> So. I, I said, she, she, she said it's hypocritical um, because when Ghost is thinking about the family's thinking about himself, well, that's what men do a lot of times when they have a family. They think of they think of themselves and making sure that it all benefits the family. And well, we've had a lot of Tasha yeah. should ask permission from Ghost before she does I, a lot of things, even though they're separated and things of that nature. Which is all garbage. But this is what I will say. When you are head of household, whether you're male or female, sometimes you say to other people, well, this is how it has to be because unfortunately I got to take care of everybody. And I just find as like in my life, sometimes I have to say to my daughter, yeah, I can't do that with you because I have to go to New York because I have to, like I'm the rising tide that lifts all boats. Mm -hmm. I got to be responsible. So there is a part of me that's writing about that with Ghost. Mm -hmm. Ghost is going, it's exactly what you said, Jill. 
he's saying, once I get elected, maybe I can handle exactly. all this. Yeah. But the way it looks right now, I can't. And the thing that Tariq cannot understand because he is a teenager. And sometimes I get frustrated with the audience because they're like, they hate on Tariq. And like, he's a teenager. He doesn't have higher functioning. Mm-hmm. Right. Do you remember when you were 16? Yeah. You remember what you were doing? You were doing stupid, <laughs> stupid shit. Can yeah. I curse? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. but so the, the point I'm trying to make is like, Tariq cannot see that when Ghost said, I'll take the weight, it was before this opportunity presented right. itself. That's, yeah. it, exactly. So, that's what I was going to say. The yeah. fact that Ghost is now making decisions based on where he is in his life. Because I believe at one point, he we saw have. that. Yeah, we saw that have. he wanted to cover it for the family. He wanted to cover Tariq. And Tasha is speaking from that place of not necessarily having changed yet. Like, yeah. she's still mm-hmm. in that position of wanting to, you know, like protect her family and all of that so I think it, it really is just based on where he is in his life mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that makes sense to me mm-hmm. yeah uh, I agree um, but I, I have a question for you guys um, if Tariq turns himself in um, how do you think that will do you think it will help or hurt his campaign because I think it would hurt it, but I don't think Tariq's turning himself in, so I don't even think that's an option. I have a whole other... We could talk yeah. about when predictions come, okay. because I don't yeah. even want to talk about that part right so now. So <laughs> now let's, let's go into Tariq. So uh, Tariq, um, when Ghost asks him to uh, turn himself in, Tariq turns into the uh, the spoiled child of... <laughs> Because <laughs> uh, last week, or last week, you know, he was F you, you're, uh, you're gone to me. And then, so what do you guys think about that? I mean, although Courtney touched on it just a little bit, but what was your take on Tariq's reaction to Go saying that he should turn himself in? So what I actually think and what a lot of people are talking about in social media land is the very important conversation that he had when he was talking to Ghost and, mm-hmm. and Ghost mentioned killing kill um, Breeze. Yeah, Breeze. Breeze. So I think that was sort of a turning point mm-hmm. because he said he killed Breeze because he got in the way of his future mm-hmm. and I think that hit a nerve with Tariq. Do you guys agree with that? Yes, and the one last question. I asked him one more, Ghost said I asked Breeze one time before I, you know, mm-hmm. had to do what I had to do Yeah, and I... I I felt possibly I don't we'll get to that later, but that Tariq asked Ghost one last time. Right. Do you really want me to turn myself in? Mm-hmm. In the club. Yes. Right. Yeah. He did before things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got crazy. Do you want me to respond to yes. that? Yes. yes. <laughs> um, I have a lot of responses. The first thing is that um, and it's interesting because my brother and I talk about this a lot. Um, when you're a parent, sometimes you tell like a little lie, like there's a Santa Claus. Sometimes you tell a big lie, like, um, you know, oh, I'll be home by then, and you don't know. I think Ghost's track record with Tariq is really bad in terms of lying, right? Mm-hmm. Like, Tariq has found out about a ton of lies that Ghost has told him. Big ones, like uh, never telling him that he was a drug dealer, or all those things, and then little ones. And I think the issue for Tariq is that he can't trust Ghost. And it's like this is another time that he feels like Ghost is lying to him. So then when Ghost levels with him and says, yes, I committed a murder. This is the first time, by the way, that Ghost ever says to Tariq, yeah. I committed a murder. Yeah. Yeah. And then he says, but I, I gave him another shot. Mm-hmm. It's like, is which version is it? Like you guys are talking about, did Tariq give him another sh- a chance? With the um, when he asks him later, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. But there's a flip side here, which is is Ghost giving him one last shot to Tariq when he's saying that? Hmm. Is Ghost saying if you get in the way of my my future? Mm. Like okay. I'm just saying, like Tariq could hear that a different way. I'm just yeah. gonna put okay. that out yeah. there, Got like that. You. Like it's like it, it's because again, we're watching this episode in Ghost's point of view. This mm. is a whole all in Ghost's point of view, and this is what he means to say. But if you're a teenager, is that what you hear? I was hmm. unsure really how to read the the the, um, the expression in Tariq when he was giving him this and just the, the close up. It was a mixture. Yeah, I didn't mixture. really know how to um, deep to interpret that. I just yeah. deep thoughts yeah. processing everything. And, and actually, now that you say that, I'm thinking again at Tariq's point of view when Ghost put the gun to his head and all of that, and like you know, I'm just literally going back thinking about what must he be thinking about his dad with all of these uh, emotions that he has and just things that he's saying now. Like wow, mm-hmm. that's. In the last few episodes, Ghost pulled a gun on him, robbed him. <laughs> yeah. 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 Dope boys get robbed Robin. all the time, nigga. Yeah. That's yeah. what he said to him. Yeah. Then he put hands on his mom. Yeah. 
is this the dad he knew? No. Not at all. No. And, and so I, I'm just saying, like, right. Tariq may have a perspective on this conversation about Breeze that's different. Remember, the first time Tariq heard this story, Kanan is the one who told him the story. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit, you know, it, work all those things in. There's so many different Easter eggs in this episode for true fans of the show. If you're a real fan of this show, yeah. you really got it and you got how it was being served to you. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's interesting, like, when I see people and when I read social media a little bit and people are like, oh, man. Man, why did this happen? I'm like, you should have seen that happening. Mm -hmm. right. Because I have done the same thing every single time. I've always warned you. I've always warned people. I've always put in the show, like, that whole conversation with Kanan. Seasons ago, between Kanan and Tariq, it came back to this moment, right? It always wow. does. Yeah. It always yeah. does. It always so does. it's like, you guys, like, the people who have been really watching this show, you should feel fed. Yeah. yeah. You know, because you got what, like, all these little threads that we've been having all along. Cooper Sacks. <laughs> I love Cooper Sacks. The Eastern District. Yeah. Something about that place. Is it possessed? Is it haunted? Everybody that comes through there becomes obsessive. Jacob Warner <laughs> was dropping. He had me cracking up Heat. the whole. Yes. Heat. Yeah. Yes. I like what Jacob was able to do because everything that they were bringing to him, he was like, no. No, next, next, next. I like how um, he pretty much said the exact plot of what Ghost has been doing the past six seasons. Mm -hmm. He pretty much said it, and then Sax was like, Yeah, yeah, that's it. He's like, No, no. So I don't know. I just thought that was pretty clever. Oh, actually. well, it's it, it's easy to do when you're pulling all the strings, right? But mm -hmm. uh, we wanted, I mean, again, it's always this tap dance, right? Because the audience is like, how could they not get arrested? And it's like, well, because the other people aren't in the scenes you're watching. Yeah. Right? <laughs> they can't see them do it. Mm -hmm. But it, there is something to Sax sounds crazy, mm -hmm. and Sax is right. Can you yeah. imagine how maddening that is yeah. that you're selling the truth? And that's yeah. what is so delicious for me in episode eight, the very end, when he goes to Warner. They came to my house, they put a yeah. gun yeah. in my mouth, and they put the bag yeah. over my It's like, okay. Yeah. Sure, sure. they did. Right. <laughs> right. Sure, man. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Shh. Sit down. And, Go <laughs> and Ghost even said, you know, um, they're, you're going to tell, but they're not going to believe you. Yeah. 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 Um, so. What is your take on, on Cooper when he found. Oh, first of all. I love any time that Tamika uh, makes an appearance. Man. So Tamika was uh, was Cooper's lawyer uh, to represent him once it was revealed that um, 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 he planted evidence. Yes, that he. That he yeah. That <laughs> she he, was like, you know, he's a Cooper? motherfucker obstructed justice. You mean yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hindering prosecution. What are you talking about? Yeah, go yeah. ahead. Um, what, I mean, do you have any thoughts on Cooper? Um, and, and your thoughts and on if he actually... Um, <laughs> he should remember Greg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah it's, it's, right, right, right. Been down this road yeah. before. It's literally what Jill, what you were saying. Everybody who comes into that office, and now Warner has even told Blanca, yeah. you're starting to act like sex. Yeah. And which, what, what's mm -hmm. interesting she is... Did. Yeah, yeah. She, she did. She did. Yeah. She did. She turned... Yeah. And everybody... This is what's kind of scary even about Warner. that. If yeah, you think about he, that's what yeah. I'm he saying. Yeah. From yeah. the judge as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because power corrupts. Mm -hmm. Yes. Diabolical. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, no, I mean, of course. Look, the whole idea I, I we've been doing is a kind of little bit of an and then there were none in mm -hmm. that office. So we've killed mm -hmm. everybody. Every, yeah. Yep. Or, or removed, removed everybody. Mm -hmm. So Sax is like standing alone. You know, yeah. and so he's just trying. And I, I love the scene. Like, one of my favorite scenes in this episode is when Tamika is sitting with Sax and she's just like, Yeah, you lost, boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, you lost. And so, you know, that's really great. Was that there, was beautiful cinematography yeah. by the Shanna directed that. Yeah, yeah Shanna's right? amazing, yeah. Was there ever any uh, discussion for, um, for Cooper to kill himself? Um, well, it's in that scene. I yeah, mean, you that. feel it, right? Yeah, you feel well, I mean, it, yeah. yes, but. Oh, you mean as an actual plot point? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <sighs> no, because uh, for me, it, that character is a little too arrogant. Mm -hmm. He's a little, you know what I mean? Oh, he's okay. a little too, he's a little too, like, he's not going to go all the way there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I also thought this is such an easy cop out for us yeah, to solve that been. problem, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we and, felt it, though. Yeah. Um, and then also with Blanca Rodriguez as well, uh, Jill, you touched on it just a little bit, how she, you know, she went from straight and narrow to then she, you know, she helped Cooper Sacks. Um, and then what's your take on the Terry Silver um, um, investigation before we, before we move on to, to Tate? 
it's a mess and I can't believe they're going forward with it. Because Tamika even said to <coughs> Cooper when she was talking to him, the only way that they can get a warrant is, is if someone saw James Stewart, a, a live smoking gun, that either isn't an accomplice or a known enemy. I feel like Dre is both, but we'll see. <laughs> Dre. <laughs> yeah. 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 Corny, if we could go back to episode nine, sure. when Tasha actually told the cops about James, yeah. you know, killing um, Terry Silver. It was just so random to me. I, I don't know. It just is that where ghosts always dump the bodies? I'm sorry. Just but wait, what? What's the random part? I, like just the way she confessed it about and just gave out the information in a way. Okay, like, I'm gonna have to take, just take you the, the fuck down right it. now. Okay, so first of all, she t she has been saying for the last like five episodes she's gonna tell somebody, right? True. She came to him and she said, "I know you killed him. I know you killed my future." And he, remember, he said to her, "That nigga wasn't your future any more than what Sean was." Remember, Ghost was disrespectful. Mm -hmm. He her. was running around. Remember, Ghost had a whole girlfriend that he whole moved moved in with, that he whole brought their children <laughs> oh, over with. God. Like, like, do you I remember that all that? <laughs> so so now, here's the thing. She didn't that, support the man, So, so uh, I can't with oh, you God, right now. Bam. I can't, bam, bam, just, mm. I'll just, just, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll, I'll mm, shut up, go ahead. Comments, I hope go you guys ahead. are busy in there. So, okay, so then, she told Ghost so many times, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell. Mm -hmm. Then he comes over and he's like, listen, stop your drug dealing. And she's like, I'm not gonna do that. And he's like, listen, I will do and then something. And he snitches on and her. He snitches on her. Okay. Remember, he snitched on her. Now remember, ghost snitching on people has happened how many times in his life? Mm. A whole bunch of times. Oh, wow. Ghost is a full snitch. He's a full right. snitch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. really good so, all of that. Then, finally, she's like, Rah! and he grabs her up and he slams her into the refrigerator and he holds her and she's frightened. She's scared because with ghosts, you don't know what the next time will be, right? Mm -hmm. And then he mushes her in the forehead. <laughs> was that okay. improv? Was, was that That was improv. Okay. That was improv. improv. Uh, he, so he, he only did that one time, and we mm -hmm. put it right in the show. Yeah, like, yes, yeah, that claps. Has to stand. <laughs> claps to Amari Hardwick. Yeah. Um, but the point is, she's at her wit's end. In that moment in 609, not only is she afraid for her life with him, but also Blanca is like, listen, you don't give us any information. Mm, I'm gonna have to talk about how your son's blood was at Ray Ray's uh, mm -hmm. scene. Now, what do you know about Tasha that is consistent? She's Mama with Cub. Tariq I mean, all the way. She's with yeah. Tariq a hundred percent. So yeah. I'm gonna ask you, what was her choice? Okay. Because she you don't like that she did it. <laughs> because it was, he, wait, wait, wait. Was, just let me just, just, just look. How is it out of her character? Wait, wait, wait. I hold on a second. Mari. Wait, wait, no, I mean, no, um, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Remember that there is a female voice who calls and says Kanan is riding dirty. Do you remember when Kanan got turned in? Do you remember season two when Kan when Tommy goes to Kanan's rib shack and mm -hmm. he tells Tommy. You know how I got how I got arrested? Oh. I got arrested because Ghost put me in jail. Mm -hmm, Ghost yeah, is yeah. the he, Ghost set me up, but you know who made the phone call? Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry about it. It's not random. You don't like it, but that's not random. Okay. It's okay. all in the show. Like we baked all of this in the whole time. And by the way, again, it would be incredibly stupid if we had Tasha say, "I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell," and never, never tell. And technically right. speaking, let me just be with the Team Tasha Black Girl Magic Alliance for oh, just a second. Welcome. Tasha didn't technically tell. She said it could be. Cause she didn't have she, any she, actual evidence. The thing is, he didn't kill him with a gun. There's no gun. Yeah. Like whatever. She didn't have any evidence. She just implied. And Ghost yeah. never cop to it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Ghost was like, I don't know what so you're talking about. So technically, she didn't. She didn't tell. But I get your perspective because I, I think uh, what I read on social media is because Tommy, Tosh, and Ghost, when it comes to the three of them, they can put aside their differences and come together for for certain things. So people didn't think that it was. They thought it was uncharacteristic that the both that both Tasha and Ghost snitched would, on, each snitch on each other. No, that's not. Like they are enemies now. Yeah. <laughs> like that's the thing. I but I, that's the thing that I don't understand. It's like people want the characters not to grow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't want them to shift that's and change. True. Yeah. That is true. And yeah. it's like you want them to always be what they were. But the, the truth is, Ghost and Tommy have been gunning for each other for seasons now. Yeah. Like Ghost is a different guy. Ghost is saying all sorts of things. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he's not. He's not the same. Mm -hmm. But. 
that the whole like uncharacteristic thing no mm-hmm. there is a progression of things that happened this season that like each thing that's happened that has forced these people into these sides if ghost had never put hands on tasha would she have done that not necessarily but he put her in a position where she was afraid for her life mm-hmm at his hands, specifically at his hands. So she needs somebody to help him out, to help her out with that. Who's gonna help her? Which too, was the reason he put hands on her because was it A, she she said that she was gonna snitch, or two, was it for Tariq? It was for, wait, why did he put hands on her? Yeah. Why did like, he do it or why did he? Ghost. She's like, oh, because she threatened his uh, career. She said, I'm gonna snitch and I'm gonna take away everything from you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, <laughs> I know wasn't the other thing that. But the other thing too <laughs> is that him putting hands on her actually is the confession, because you never she goes lose his cool, right? Never. Yeah, she threatened him. him with something that he'd actually done. Mm. Yeah, and when we you, thought it and, signified and, a turning point of him mm-hmm. doing that. Yeah, because something. she threatened him. She said, "I'm going to tell them that you did this, and I know you did it, and he did do it." He did do it, and it wasn't one of his typical ghost murders where he's plotted it all out. Right, and it was very it, it crime was, of it was, Yeah, exactly. It yeah. was of the moment. It was manslaughter, and it was messy, and it was sloppy, and he knows he didn't make all the right choices in that moment. Yeah. Mm. Um, okay, so now let's go to Tate. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why Tate. I mean, I know that Ghost has taken Tate's life, but at the same <laughs> time, I'm like, why do you want it? You really want to kill him? You really want to go that far down the rabbit hole, Tate? I don't know. <laughs> For me, he, as far as him being one of the suspects, nah. No. It's yeah. not, no. it, it's, it's so not him because when you're a politician, you pay people to do stuff like that. Um, <laughs> you know, you, you pay people to do stuff like that and the one thing you know we've seen him pay people do his dirty will do work for him throughout right yeah um but also um i am okay with ghosts um having the conversations with majority of the people in uh in the episodes who became suspects except for tate he was trying to tell you right that bruh and you run in your mouth. That was mm-hmm. the one time, like, shut up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you feeling yourself yeah, yeah. a little too much. Yeah, he went a little bit too hard yeah. on, on Tate, and because of that, he almost, you know, but it didn't work. Yeah, but isn't it so great? At, I mean, the fact that basically Ghost went to tell everybody in the cocky way that he did. Yeah. He went and pushed the button with everybody. everybody. Yeah. So every, so it gave everybody a reason that we would think as the, as the audience, it gives everybody a reason to go after him the way that they did. Mm-hmm. Because Tate, yeah, granted, uh, he was about to tell him, but did you see him turn? I mean, mm-hmm. he turned old dog on us uh, <laughs> to the 10th power, right? Like, he just went there, and it was like, you can see, Ghost is snatching all of this for his benefit, right? For mm-hmm. his benefit. And um, it gives him a reason to do it. So do I think that he did it ultimately? No. It would be interesting, but I don't think he did. Okay, let's move really quick. Uh, we've already talked about Dre. Do you guys have anything else to say about Dre? Dre is the luckiest person. Ever. Okay, yeah, he's like a <laughs> Siamese, Dre, he's like a Siamese twin. Uh, now he has like 18 <laughs> lives. Uh, yeah. My daughter. Uh, okay. <laughs> my daughter, my daughter. Paz. My daughter, my daughter. <laughs> what do you guys think about Paz? Well, Paz. Sit down. Actually, she was the only one. Well, this is my thing. She was the only one beside that, okay, besides Sax, I guess, that I actually felt like I saw close to the club, but I don't think she did it either. I think she may want to and have been emotional, but I don't think that she has it in her to pull the trigger, even as distraught as she is. Mm. And I do, because... Um, out of um, out of the other ones, I feel like with Paz, when Ghost, Paz knew that that Ghost was lying to her when he said that he didn't know who killed her. Yeah. So just from just street code, if you know, if I know, um, if I know, if Jimmy, if I know that Jimmy knows the person that actually killed somebody of mine, that's family. I'm gonna kill you because you won't tell me. That's that's if kind you're of not a, a killer. The streets. She's. Uh, th- but Paz is not from we, the streets. But we don't technically really know her background. I mean, <laughs> you just you just never you never know. Watching but him too. It's but funny. it make but it it seems logical that Paz. This is her sister. You know, she blames Ghost. Although it's not like Ghost put a gun to Angela's head and said, you know, whatever. Yeah. But Paz has 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 she has a logical reason in her head for why <laughs> she wants to kill him. Right. But don't they all? Yeah, wait, 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 can, yeah. hold on. Mm-hmm. So if you guys remember, 
the whole run of the series, Paz was saying to Angela, what about James? He was yes. Yes. Stay yes. away from yeah. him. Yeah. Stay away from him. He's going to get you killed. Yeah. He's already changed who you are. Like, And do you guys remember in 510 what happens with Paz and Angela when they're sitting in the diner? And Paz says, give them what they want. Testify <laughs> against him. And she says, I'll lose my whole career. I'll lose my whole yeah. life. And, and Paz says, at least you'll be safe. You mm-hmm. might sleep on my couch, but at least you'll be safe. Yeah. Remember, she's mm-hmm. desperate to save her sister. What happens? Her she sister dies. Yeah. Yeah. And if you remember when Ghost is in 601, if you go back and look at 601, when Paz comes out and she is the one that they have told and she sees Ghost standing there with Angela's blood on him oh, from the ambulance, yeah. what does she say? Do you guys remember? She says, assassina, murderer. Mm-hmm. Now... You guys have siblings, you have family. Somebody has, you think someone has killed your sibling so, and you warned and you tried and you worried about this. This is the thing you thought was gonna happen and yeah. then it happened. Yeah. And then you're finally told, we can't get him. We can't get him for anything. If you remember, Blanca has to tell both Tate and Paz, yeah. he's gonna walk. I don't know. Mm-hmm. And it's, uh, I'll give you guys one little thing. Oh. It's Angela's gun. Oh. Jesus. Mm. Y'all hear that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sound effects. Ooh, um, literally scratching my head. Right. Wow. right. Before we go into... Because she had a service. Yeah. She had a duty pistol, remember? Because right. she took it when she met with Nomar. Again, it's all for the fans, yeah, yeah. remember? Uh, yeah. Remember Nomar? Yes, that was. First yes. season, yeah, yeah. who was yeah. messing with Ruiz's daughter. Uh, yeah. yeah. Do you remember she had to take the gun yeah. with her? The thing. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's her gun. Anything on uh, anything on Blanca? So Blanca actually hears the gunshot and she has the uh, warrant uh, for Why James. is she serving the warrant by the, herself? Yeah, that was my question. Why is she there by herself? As um, many times as they've messed up with James, I'm just like, they let you go alone. But okay, so but the warrant that she got. How did she get it? I'm assuming. Okay, so that, that's my question. But that's my question. But Courtney, I assumed it was because um, since Dre um, um, coerced the the story, and that was after I believe that everything was dropped with Terry Silver. So she got it because Dre made up the story. Mm-hmm. So that's why she's. But there. she's saying, remember the detail that Tamika gave. Kind of, it may not all the way be legal. I think that's that's the point. Is that yeah. we, okay? So we know yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, yeah. that the way she got that warrant is a little messed up because yeah. yeah. Dre is lying, yeah. right? So is she gonna bring a whole bunch of people with her? Right, mm-hmm. right. That's true. She's trying mm-hmm. to get him into custody. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. what is she gonna tell the other special agents who are like, "How did you get a warrant on James St. Patrick?" Uh, see what had happened mm-hmm. was, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, so. Obviously, with Who Shot Ghost, and we're going to go into uh, the the last five episodes, do you guys have an opinion in regards to who you think it is? Uh, I, we know I'm not going to be stupid enough to ask her. Um, well, I have, a, I have a question yeah. kind of thing. Is it possible that two of the people teamed up? Because that works into my theory in some type of way. I'm not going to say anything. Okay. Mm. Anything's possible. <clears throat> okay. Anything's possible. What I will tell you, though, is because I've seen a lot of, uh, I mean, I didn't really do a lot of social media crawl, but I did a little. And people are suggesting people that we didn't show as suspects, and oh. I wouldn't do that. That's not, I would never do that. I was All thinking right. like Tariq and Tommy. A few of them were saying cute, but I was like, he wasn't even in the episode, but okay. <laughs> Where is yeah. he going? Because he said he was going to save Tasha. He's going to come back and. Q takes mm-hmm. Tasha to jail when he's to reveal he's a fed. <laughs> okay, I, again, you know all those people who said Damn. that Holly was an undercover cop and all this, like, wh- why would I ever withhold that from the audience, though? See, I don't tell stories like that. If yeah. somebody was an undercover cop, I would let you know right. so that you would have that tension would be going on. You know what I mean? I wouldn't withhold it and go, gotcha. Well, see, I don't feel like it's a gotcha only because when he shows up um, he inquired about the daycare. We've never seen a child. Like, I feel like there's a bunch of signs that shows he's not who he is. No, 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 okay, no, no. All right, sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. No, no, no. It's not that... <laughs> he is... It's interesting, though, because, like, he is a guy who's actually interested in this woman. Mm. He doesn't know anything else that's yeah. with her. Do you mm. know what I mean? So he doesn't know. No, 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 no. He's not an undercover cop. All right, let's 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 take some, uh, some questions. Hashtag Ask Courtney. Does anybody have any? Woo! Um, well, I do. Oh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. 
So, kind of to your point earlier that nothing is put into the scripts or into the episodes that won't come back later, will we see Effie in the last five episodes? The Tariq's girlfriend. No, no, I know who Effie oh. is. Okay. No. No. Okay. 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 Um, okay. Now, Cordy, um, do you have a question? Go ahead. Okay. So, um, some of the complaints just uh, from, from the fans, and I have to address this because I get a lot of messages, but some people thought, like, you know, the, the pace of the pacing of it was super fast, and there were things that seemed unlike, you know, un, 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 uh, unpower like, you know, like the shootout in, in, the, in the penthouse or like the action sequences. Like, certain people, like, a lot of people on social media felt like they were, like, power changed in, in a sense. Um, and as far as the tone. What do you mean? In this episode? Meaning just the, the, the series itself. Uh, as the series itself as in far as... In you mean? Yes. Uh, what, would you, so give like, me some context. Too ov over the top? Is that... Some... some um, the pacing sometimes seemed to be fast. Like, like um, how we would get to certain points so fast. I don't really have a response to that. Okay. My, my feeling is like... Yeah, I don't really... It's a weird thing because I think the things that I see people want mm -hmm. are sometimes a little bit fan fiction-y to me. Mm -hmm. So I don't, you know? Yeah. Like, it's just, I don't have a response to that because it's like we had to fit in a lot of story. It's the last season. Mm -hmm. um, in this chapter, it's yeah. the last season. But I also think that there's only one thing happening this season. And yeah. if you look at what's happening, it is all happening on that <coughs> same track, which mm -hmm. was this ghost versus Tommy thing. Yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, I, we were going to destroy some very specific things. We destroyed the Mustang. We destroyed the penthouse. We were going to burn Truth down, but we just couldn't afford it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, we destroyed Truth in another way. Mm -hmm. But I feel as though, like, I kind of, I don't know. I, I, I don't, I'm going to try to say this in the most beautiful, like, mm -hmm. thoughtful way. Yeah. Those people who watch the show who make television professionally, mm -hmm. they are allowed to tell me that it paces too fast. Yeah. Those people who don't make television professionally and don't like and they're like they're professional, like they watch television, mm -hmm. it's like when you see the end of the season and how everything worked together and all these pieces that we had to show you in order to play fair with you mm -hmm. so that you weren't there were no gotchas like all of a sudden, boom, Effie is some undercover cop, or mm. boom, and like, I've never done that. Like, when have I ever done like a gotcha undercover cop? I've mm. never done that in like six mm. seasons. I don't do those things. So yeah. it's like, I feel like all those little pieces that we had to sew in, they were all so carefully done. Mm -hmm. So I guess what I would say is, it has been with such great effort and such great care that we've placed all of these. We've worked so hard to bring uh, the best version of a last season. If they don't like it, mm -hmm. There's not much I can do, mm -hmm. okay. but I'm proud of the product, mm -hmm. and that's kind of where I sit with it. There is, go ahead. Go ahead, man. No, go ahead. Like, yep. Uh. Well, um, so I re I read your article today in uh, Deadline, <clears throat> and it said you guys filmed multiple endings in case one of them leaks out. Ooh. Mm. So my question was, what do you plan to do with that extra content? Well, say nothing gets leaked out, right? Everything goes I mean, has that ever happened, schedule. though? No, has that ever happened that nothing hasn't. leaked? Has it that happened. ever happened? Yeah. Right. So we'll see. You know, we'll is, see. Is there a plan with the extra stuff? Well, the thing is, I've been trying to be able to do deleted scenes for years because we that have them. We have so many. And I'm like, I've been trying to do so many different kinds of versions of that, but it's been really hard to get uh, to be able to do it because of the way premium cable works and dealing with affiliates and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Okay, so in th in under three minutes, I'm going to just go and I'm going to just talk about what people are saying in the chat room. Uh, there is SB, who's, who is dying to know how did Tasha know the location it, of, of Silver's body? Is it because that's where she last saw him and just knows that? No, no, no. It's not the same garage. It's a garage okay. at the airport. She knows how Ghost has dumped bodies in the past. It's a guess. Okay. It's a guess. She's a, she doesn't okay. know. It's a guess. Okay. Perfect. Um, so we have someone, Lovable Plan says, can you get, break down Tasha and Lakeisha? Because I think that's been a con <laughs> like a, a steady debate amongst everybody. Was he really in love with her, or was it just that oh, Tasha? Tasha? Oh, I'm sorry. Tommy, Tommy and, and Lakeisha. Yeah. Sorry. 
the tease. Tommy and Lakeisha, was he really in love with her, or did he just know, you know what, when I found out that she wasn't going to tell on me, I just have her back, she's my family now, and I want to marry her? From the beginning, Tommy was always looking for that partner. Yeah. Tommy's mm -hmm. character is actually written out of love. He's written out of love. Ghost is written out of logic, and he's written out of love. So Tommy was always looking for that partner. He killed the right partner. He had the right partner. He had that person. And he killed her because he loved Ghost more than he loved her, which is what she said, right? So he lost that person. He lost that family. And you know how sometimes <clears throat> people, they try to make a new family immediately mm -hmm. when they lose that? Mm -hmm. So yes, he's in love with Lakeisha, but the way that he's in love with Lakeisha is not how he was in love with Holly. Holly is like that crazy, stupid love, that like mm -hmm. once in a lifetime kind of love. Mm -hmm. The Lakeisha love is more, it's almost like you're saying, Robin, mm -hmm. it's more familial. It's more like, okay, this is now my person yeah. because she will cleave to me. Now, remember also that those are two people who both need something very desperately. He needs a home and she needs a man. Mm. So she has a, she has a home and he she invites him into it, right? And then he becomes the surrogate father for her child. She got all the things. She got the cash and prizes. Mm -hmm. She was just about to get everything she wanted. She got yeah. the house. She got the car. She was just about to get the <laughs> ring. And I mean, that's also part of the story that I'm telling, which is when you as a woman go to get those boxes checked off, there might be a lot that comes with that that you don't mm -hmm. want. For yeah. sure. Will uh, Tasha's earring, missing earring, come up somehow? We don't know. Mm -hmm. OK, that so, answers your question. Courtney. Um, um, how do you guys respond? Because I know you guys are very, um, you guys are very um, up on social media. But um, I just, I'm, you know, curious as to how you guys, how did it make you guys feel when some of how a lot of people were slandering um, um, uh, the Keisha character's performance? Like, does it just? I'm just curious. Does it like? Does it bother you guys? Do you clap back? I mean, it, it was like a trending topic uh, for most of the season. Do you, you want to know what I really think? Yeah. I think when Angela left the show, mm -hmm. there's a lot of internalized misogyny from women, and there's a lot of just misogyny out mm -hmm. there, and people like to hate on women. Okay. I do not think it had anything to do with, uh, with Lala's performance. Mm -hmm. I think there is something that, uh, something that is real about the fact that she was not a criminal. People started to hate on her for that, which I thought was insane. Like, she bought into this life. She saved her own life by buying into it, because Tommy certainly would have killed her mm -hmm. in episode 510. And so there's this really weird thing where people were like, yeah, she can't act. It's like, no. She's doing the same acting she always was, and none of y'all complained about that before. Right. Mm -hmm. It's that you don't have Angela to be mad at right now, so this is the female you're mad at. You're mad wow. at her. And I think also the way that it works emotionally, I'll just say this, is that Tasha for people is very sacred. And so once Lakeisha and Tasha weren't on the same side, mm -hmm. right? Once Lakeisha was like, Tasha, you know what? Fuck you. I think that that also became, like, Lakeisha became a hated character, mm -hmm. right? It wasn't, I don't think it was Lala's performance. That's me. I just don't think it was Lala's performance. Lala did a great job. I don't think it had anything to do with that at all. Mm -hmm. Not really. Point. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, also, um, really quickly, were there any other, uh, some people always uh, ask this, but were there any other characters, uh, or I mean, any other actors who um, were, like, heavy in contention for some of the, the characters that we've grown uh, to love, like, as far as, like, Ghost, Tasha, were there any other actors who... Sure, there are plenty of people who auditioned uh, for those parts, but uh, they wouldn't want you to know that <laughs> they auditioned and didn't get the job. I'm not going to tell you that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sometimes it's in trivia, and sometimes people ask and want to know. So well, I know we, we have to wrap up the show now. We could go on and on with you, Courtney. But right. <laughs> tell us a little bit more about the uh, what can we expect from the last five, not specifically, yeah. and then also Power Book 2, and, and yeah, okay, and so, on and on. Um, if, in fact, you felt like episode 10 was fast, the episodes that follow are inspired a little bit by Rashomon. If you guys know that, that film, if you don't, you should watch it. Okay. But it's basically about several people who are part of the same incident and their different ways of looking at it. Mm -hmm. And so you are about to, to learn a lot more about other characters. 
uh, and therefore get a lot of pieces filled in. It's almost like 610 and 6 through 615 are actually almost like a movie of their own. They're almost a five hour conversation about this day uh, and what happened to everyone in this day. So, um, you know, it's a it's a high wire act, mm -hmm. and it, it there are going to be some people who just want an episode of power. You know, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's like, uh, and I think this goes to the the comment that you made before, Buzz. I mean, bam, mm -hmm. which is that um, four ten had this very satisfying ending where Ghost Tommy and Kanan ride off into the sunset together, and yeah. they're all all angry at Dre, but that can only sustain that one thing. Yeah. Now we're in the end game. And this is this is it. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and uh, can you tell us anything about the other alleged rumor uh, spinoffs? The alleged rumor spinoffs. There's no, they're not rumors. They're really happening. Yeah. There's so <laughs> many of them. I'm busy working on them right now. We're shooting one of them right now. I mean, it's crazy. It's like it's going to be a whole universe of stuff, and mm -hmm. you're going to get more and more and more and more. Okay. Okay. So there's power. So what what are they called? And and when when when? Oh, uh, well, you're so adorable. <laughs> There's Power Book 2, Power Book 3, Power Book 4, Power Book yeah. 5. I'm not telling you anything because I'm not going to tell you which characters there are because then you would think that they survive. And at least one of them is about someone who doesn't. So, okay, well, well, oh, when, well when um, will it start immediately after... Um, well, it's, well, it, I mean, what do you mean? Are you talking about air? Airing, air, yes, airing. Airing. Well, the you know, it's too early for me to say when. Okay, we'd, okay, okay. We'd like yeah. it to air exactly when Power did. Okay, perfect. Okay. Well, this is bittersweet. I feel like because you know we've been doing this for six seasons now, and I don't know if we're gonna have you back. I hope so. I'll come back for fifteen. Oh, oh, yeah, I'll come back. Okay, okay y'all heard it here yes. first. Uh, Courtney, where Damn. can we find you on social media? Oh God, barely. Uh, I'm on Instagram and I'm on Twitter, and I don't do anything, anything else. No Snapchats, nothing like that. I'm at Courtney Kemp. I think I'm at Courtney Kemp on Twitter and at Courtney A Kemp on Instagram. Perfect. Jimmy, where can we find you? It's, uh, your boy Jimmy V at the Jimmy V. You guys can find me on all of my social media at Robin Ayers. I'm everywhere at Stiletto Jill. And you can find me on all social media at Ben Merrickson. And uh, thank you guys for uh, peeping my trailer. My film, Uncle Ed's Bucket List, comes out on November 26th. And you can go to my Instagram page at Uncle Ed's Bucket List for more information. Thank you guys for watching. And we will be back January of 2020. Yes. Thank you and to thank our you special Courtney. guest, Queen Courtney Thank you to all the fans, of course. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys. Checking us out, all yes. you in the comments, every comment. We appreciate all of them, even the crazy ones. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for everyone. Thanks, you guys. Bye. 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 Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.